FreeBSD isn't sure of system monitors for the terminal. The list includes Top, HTOP, Glancers, GoTop, and ATOP. Let's meet a new kid on the block. Installing BPytop is super easy in FreeBSD. There's no messing with PPAs, snaps, flat packs, or app images, etc. In FreeBSD, it's as easy as PKG install BPytop. BPytop is developed by the creator of Bashtop and he moved to a Python version of the uh, software because it was easy to maintain. So essentially everything that you know about Bashtop applies to BPytop. Some of the features of BPytop are it's a fast and responsive user interface with mouse and hotkey support. You can filter processes or show detailed information in a single process. You can send SIG term, SIG kill, SIG init to any process that you select. Auto scaling graph for network usage and config options can be changed via menu so you can go into the text file and configure it there or you can do it via the user interface it, it doesn't matter okay the default fresh rate for bpytop is 2000 milliseconds well it is on freebsd anyway if you want to change this, you make it slower or make it faster. You can press the plus or minus key. Pressing minus will bring the value down. You can bring it down about uh, to about 100. Right, yeah, there's 100. And uh, it's a little bit too quick. You can, of course, increase it again. And we'll put it back to as it was, 2000. And yeah, that's a nice realistic value. In the memory and disk space monitor, you can show or disable swap if you want to. I kind of discovered this by accident by pressing a key by, uh, by mistake. But anyway, we go on to the main part, which is looking at the processors. You can navigate up and down the processors by using the up and down arrow keys. That will just take you nice down to the bottom if you want to. Go back up to the top. But if you want to quickly jump down, you can press page down or page up they will take you to the bottom page in one big jump. And the process ID, the PIDs, are arranged in descending order. So the largest PID will be at the top. You can use R key to reverse sorting order in the process section if you want to. I like to leave it as is. Only the largest process at the top so you can quickly see what's consuming most of the uh, system resources. And if you want to see the details of a particular process, go down to the process you want to see and just press enter and it will give you a very detailed look of how much memory percentage rise uh, it's using status elapsed time uh, the parent which uh, initiated it and the user so that's pretty useful also shows you on the left hand side how much of the processor it's using so we go down to another one And if you want to escape from it, just press enter again. One handy little tool is the filter, which will let you search for a specific uh, process. So at the top, under press F, you can search for USB, Firefox, and Plasma. So if you've got any process what you want to have a look at, this is a quick way of doing it. And if you want to get rid of the filter, just press delete. Oops, I think I pressed the wrong button. I think I pressed uh, Q for quit. That's easily done. I'm not used to hotkeys. So we'll jump back straight in. Okay, we'll uh, down to processes again. You can terminate a process, a selected process with sick term by pressing the T key. So we'll just have a look for a process that we can. Hmm. Yeah, and we'll find a, we'll find a process that we can terminate, which is uh, pretty safe to do. I don't want to crash the system while I'm recording. And uh, we'll just go down to there. 
mock peel do. So if you press T, that should actually kill or terminate the selected process. There we go, it's gone. I'm just going to start it up again on a different screen. Right, it's back. And you can kill a process by pressing K. So it's very much like top. Ah. By Pi top exited with error code. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not. Uh, I'll send the developer a little uh, bug report on that. B Pi top, like bash top, is really, uh, is pretty much uh, set up to be used by uh, using hotkeys. I don't like hotkeys. I kind of forget which do uh, which does what. So here, if you press F1, it's got a handy little uh, guide, and this little guide will show you all the different combinations. One interesting thing is, a lot of the hotkeys uh, in sections can actually be clicked by a mouse. So if you're uncomfortable using hotkeys, then a the mouse will do the same thing. It may seem unusual that like you're clicking on a uh, terminal-based application using a mouse, but it does it. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But I'll leave up this for uh, a few more seconds. It's a useful guide in case you ever forget uh, which keys do what. Well, obviously there's some is like Control plus C and Q. Uh, that's obviously quit, which I think I pressed earlier. One thing I haven't mentioned is the handy little graph at the bottom, uh, which shows you your network activity, how much you've downloaded in total, uploaded, and uh, various other stairs. So that's quite handy. Now, it seems as BPI Top is set up for hotkeys, like I said earlier, it can handle mouse clicks. So if you click on menu, it will bring up, obviously, the menu. And mini will bring up a more simplified display, really. Something similar to what Top is uh, natively. And you can also adjust the uh, refresh rate in milliseconds uh, by the mouse, if you wish. Although, uh, truthfully, I mean, that's a lot easier by a key. Whether you press escape or whether or not you select it by mouse, if you know, let's select the menu and go to options, there's a nice handy little uh, theming uh, option available. I, you know, I don't tend to bother with theming even on uh, GUI applications, but never mind uh, console. But there's, there's a few, there's 10. Some of them may tickle your fancy and you can always add your own extra. So I'm just going to go through these and select, oh, I like Monokai, that's almost like FreeBSD themed. There's a few options that you can tweak, uh, how it starts up, and it gives a description in that little box, and to the right it tells you everything you need to know. I'm just going to alter the uh, processes back. So we're just going to go through these, well, I'm going to leave them uh, pretty much default. But you can change them here, or change them in the text file, it makes no difference. And it's very comprehensive. I kind of like the ability to um, make some changes to it via the menu, which is, I don't know, I, I, I think that's unusual. So there's the options, very nice. Okay, that's that, I've just pressed Q, so we can escape. I'm just going to highlight the error that we came across earlier, which was uh, unexpected. I didn't like it when I tried to kill the process. Right, and that's it. It's a very handy tool. Uh, I think there's a bit too much going on for me. I prefer something simple like uh, Top, but I can see the appeal of it, and uh, it works very well. So I hope uh, you liked it. Give it a try, see what you say. And if you like it, let me know in the comments section down below. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video. And if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well.